when we have a linear equation, okay, a linear equation, example of y equals mx plus b, okay, we'll talk about that in greater detail as time goes on, but what linear means is linear just means a straight line, okay, there's lots of straight lines that we can draw. For example, so we've got a straight line that looks like this. Well, sort of straight. Let's pretend it's straight. Okay, this is supposed to be straight. I'm not using my straight edge. <clears throat> okay, when we have a, a straight line relationship, there's a couple of really interesting points. And first off, in the last video, I didn't talk about the origin being the point zero zero. That's kind of important. Just throwing that in there. But when we have a straight line, there's two interesting points, okay? One is where that line intersects the y-axis and where that line intersects the x-axis. Now, <clears throat> what's interesting about that is that whenever you have a line, okay, let's draw a different line in here, that crosses the y-axis or the x-axis, it has one data point in common, okay? When I'm crossing the x-axis, what's my y-value? No matter where I am on the x-axis, my y is a zero, okay? So for any equation that we graph of any kind, x comma zero, is the definition of your x-intercept, okay? Because when y is a zero, wherever your line is, if it's here or here, or maybe you've got a different line, right there, okay? It's intersecting the x-axis, its y-value is a zero, okay? So in this particular one here, if I were to say what's the x-intercept, of this line, well, you'd first you write the x value, so that's 1, 2, 3, so it would be 3, comma, 0. This one, or excuse me, negative 3, comma, 0, haha, <laughs> almost got me. This one right here would be 1, 2, 3, a 3, comma, 0. This one right here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, about a negative 8, negative 8, comma, 0, okay? So the similar thing occurs when we're talking about where we inter intercept the y-axis. Where we intercept the y-axis, no matter where we do it, say we've got this line right here, okay? Wherever it occurs, our x value is a zero. So the definition of a y-intercept would be zero comma y, okay? So see each of these lines has an x value of zero, but they have different y values. So say, for instance, this one here, this would be an x value of zero with a y of 10. Okay. This one here, let's look at this. This again has an x value of zero and a y value of negative 12. Counting by twos here, counting by ones. 